How about when you win by one one hundredth of a frickin' second, right? Like, what's going on in your mind there, and how do you do that? I mean, that isn't just skill. That's something in you that just won't be defeated, isn't it? What is it? But I think it's like if you look at the greats, especially in sports, they just know how to get it done in those yeah. moments. Yeah. Let happen what needs to happen. And, and, and that's how it was. You know, I got into that, that moment leading into that, that finish. And, and uh, to be honest, I thought the half stroke cost me the race. I really thought it cost me the race. I was like, well, there goes a gold medal. And I hit the wall and I needed that half stroke because I would have done what Kavik did and kind of glide into the wall yeah. and almost act as like a speed bump. Because um, his hands were like this when he was coming into the wall, and his body was shaped in a U. So I hit it with so much force, moving directly forward, and hit the pad and triggered the pad a hundredth faster than he did. One hundredth um, second. They had to go down to the thousandth um, to find that uh, the 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 winner of the race. So uh, yeah, I mean, I've okay, I've tell, been on. Tell me what you're feeling when you do that, and you realize you win, win by one one hundredth of a second. Okay. I knew I, I knew I was going to win eight. You did. I knew. I knew the I was going to win. So you visualize it, you yeah. saw it, you felt it. But that's like for me, like I've been doing this since I was probably 12, 13 years old where I visualize how I want the race to go, how I don't want the race to go and how the race could go. Just so you get so you, when you're there in that moment, you're prepared for anything that's around you. All those little small things ends up end up adding together to make a massive difference. And and the more you can kind of get into that rhythm, it, you just don't even have to think about it. It's just so natural and it comes right to you. So that was something I think I was very fortunate to have a coach who taught me so many amazing things at such a young age that I was able to carry on and, and perfect almost, I guess, to a point um, throughout my career.